mostly what I can say now is that as far as emotional battles, um, I was pretty much in denial about what they were, which was great because it, it helped me lead a happier life. <laughs> um, but that when I, um, so it, it was more social than emotional. Um, I had been a fat activist. I, I mean, I've been through the gamut. So, you know, when I would go to a restaurant, if they didn't have a chair that would fit me, I would leave. Um, I had no qualms about it. I had no apologies about it. You know, it was all just the way it was. And well, how dare you have chairs that are too small? What, what are you? Don't you want restaurant, you know, cut clients? But, <laughs> but I had a phenomenal experience after my surgery when I went to a friend's house who is also morbidly obese. And she had a little party, and I couldn't eat very much. I, I brought some tilapia with me and um, for dinner, and that was what I was going to share with the group. They ate nonstop popcorn, candy, hummus, cheese, pita bread, and then that was all before dinner. But when I'm talking popcorn, I'm talking about big Tupperware bowls each. And I don't know that I ever ate that way, but then it started hitting me that I couldn't have gotten to 460 pounds eating small portions of healthy food. So, wow, what kind of denial was I really in to have just been asleep for all that time? And now I'm seeing, now that I'm feeling more awakened, what other people are eating because I hear the words that she says that I used to say, which is, I don't understand why I can't lose the weight. <laughs> 